So alpha-1 antitrypsin deficiency um, is actually a hereditary lung condition in which you are um, born with a certain um, gene that helps ward off infections and stuff into your lungs. So without this, um, without this gene, when I get an infection, it actually attacks my lungs rather than um, protect them from illnesses. When I was first diagnosed in 2001, I didn't really have too many symptoms. I knew that I had it. My father was um, tested and my mom was already positive. So at that time we knew that chances were pretty high that I was going to be a carrier, but also have, have the deficiency. My symptoms weren't real strong. Um, I had some shortness of breath upon exercise, going up hills, steps. Um, so back then it wasn't really a game changer in my life. Um, I knew I had it, so I tried to take care of myself. And with this disease, it just progressively gets worse. There is no treatment for this disease at all. It's just a matter of taking care of yourself and doing some preventative measures. In October of 2016, my oxygen levels were pretty low upon um, seeing my physician. So at that time I was put on oxygen. Um, wasn't quite 24 seven, but I did have um, a portable in case I did go out and get shortness of breath. But the oxygen was full time at night. By January of 2017, I was unable to go up steps anymore without really stopping using my rescue inhaler. And from there, it's just, it seemed to take a steady decrease to the point where we're at now, which is, it doesn't take much activity anymore to get that shortness of breath to come on. The best course of action I have, of course, is my rescue inhaler. Um, and with the oxygen, just taking some low deep breaths seems to help kind of get my oxygen level back up. And of course, just stopping and resting what I'm doing, um, just making sure that I sit down, relax, before I get up and attempt any kind of activity again. But definitely the inhalers do help and the oxygen. The only long-term cure for the alpha-1 and now um, the very severe COPD that I have is a lung transplant. If you have any doubt, get tested. Um, alpha-1 antitrypsin is, it's detected with a blood test. Um, it's very easy, very painless. It's a struggle when you have to breathe and can't get that deep breath. Um, so I would say just pre as much prevention as people can and, and get tested and know what's out there and, and take care of yourself while you can.